For thousands of years, the high rocky slopes of the western mountains have echoed with a curious sound. It seems to drift from rock to rock, difficult to pinpoint until a small animal suddenly appears from the talus. The pika, an animal perfectly adapted for life at high altitude. But today, pikas and their distinctive call are slowly disappearing from the mountains, the early victims of our warming climate. Pikas literally can't take the heat. Their compact bodies have evolved for life in the cold. And pikas will die in temperatures of just 80 degrees Fahrenheit if they're unable to find shade or cool microclimates deep in the rocks. Unlike other alpine mammals, pikas don't need to move to lower elevations in winter, and they don't hibernate on reserves of fat. Instead, they harvest plants and build hay piles under overhanging rocks where they can still come and go after winter snowpack covers the landscape. In just a few months, they must gather and store enough food to see them through the long alpine winter. Pikas live solitary lives in sparse communities, maintaining a single territory for their entire lifespan of three or four years. They are aggressively territorial and tolerate each other just long enough to mate. Juveniles disperse from the territories where they were born, but they don't go very far, and most of them won't survive the first year on their own. Pikas may be asocial animals, but they still help their colony by warning of danger. The weasel is just one of the pika's many predators. Survival for the pikas is difficult enough, but steadily rising temperatures already threaten pikas with extinction in their southern ranges. Research shows that pikas gradually retreat upslope when they can, but ever-rising temperatures have begun reaching the high elevations, isolating pika colonies when they're unable to survive the crossing to nearby higher and colder mountain ranges. Climate change also brings vegetation change and often less desirable plant species for the pikas. Imagine a mountainous island sinking into a warm sea and the pikas have already retreated to the top. They have nowhere left to go. For the present, winter snow still falls and pikas still gather their hay piles tucking in for the long winter as their life in the mountains goes on. But with continued climate warming, the call of the pika may soon disappear. The question we are left with is, what does the plight of the pika tell us about our own future?